Hello, and thank you for tuning into Fredonia Radio Systems, whether it be WDVL 89.5 The Inferno or WCVF 88.9 The Voice. Usually, we would have a live on-air show for you at this current hour. However, for today, we're going to take this time to remember the life of an FRS family member who is sadly no longer with us. Andrew Ernst was a junior chem ed major on Fredonia's campus who brought energy and happiness into any room he entered. As soon as Andrew stepped foot into the FRS station for his hours, everyone instantly had a smile on their face, waiting to see what funny story or interesting fact Andrew would bring during the day. Sporting a new suit daily, Andrew Ernst quickly became an important member of the FRS family, sporting two shows, holding assistantship positions, as well as doing whatever else needed to be done, such as helping out with our monthly lock-ins by making sure people were actually going. He was an extremely lovable, charismatic, and intelligent soul that made sure to let everyone that entered the radio station know that they were welcome, and he did so with the most charming smile on his face. Andrew made a profound impact on the FRS team, and will be remembered forever as everyone's favorite tie boy. We love you, Andrew. Fly high. We hope this hour allows you to see just how amazing he truly was, as well as to look back on some memories you may have had with him. So, without further ado, we here at Fredonia Radio Systems introduce you to Andrew's Mix. We hope you enjoy.
chain of consorts Dropped off at the robot bus stop Casey's coming, can't you hear it like the crying wind? Oh, there even the airplanes are turning in Flipped over like a train of consorts Dropped off at the robot bus stop
Hello, uh, my name is Matthew Gillespie, and I am the current WCVF Program Director for Fredonia Radio Systems. I think my, my favorite memory, though it was like a very brief memory, though it was like very short, um, it was only like five minutes, but it was one of the times where I first, like, was, uh, I fully understood like his music taste and like just how uh, out there it was, you know, he, it's, um, it was very interesting the way he, uh, listened to music because he was very into like, uh, Animal Collective, uh, Evie Tear, um, and like a bunch of artists that do very experimental things and I never really got into it much, but he, um, uh, we had gotten new music for the radio station, uh, a bunch of promoters send in music for the radio station here and, uh, were able to listen to some music uh, a little bit earlier than usual for some artists. And he came up to me and said, Matt, Matt, guess what? You'll never believe it. And I was like, well, uh, what? What is that? And he said, this new album um, that's very good by an artist called Drug Dealer is uh, is out now. It's really good. I, I think you're going to love it. So I was like, sure, I'll give it a shot. It was an album called Raw Honey. Uh, we were able to listen to it about two weeks before it released because they, they sent it to us for a promotion. Um, and he said, uh, it's going to sound a little weird at first, but I know your music taste and I know you're going to love it. And that scared me because I was like, oh no, this is going to be something I don't like. But he put it on and it was probably one of like, it was experimental, yes, but it was probably one of the... Um, better better songs that I've heard. In uh, all of the music that I've listened to, I probably liked that uh, album more than most of the music I've listened to. Um, I currently have uh, that saved on my Spotify playlists. I have a bunch of those tracks saved on my main playlist on Spotify that a lot of people like follow and like. And uh, yeah, because of that moment, uh, his music taste, uh, had a huge impact on my music taste as well because he introduced me to that and it helped me dive into like more experimental uh, choices of music because before I would say I was a little bit scared to listen to something that was labeled experimental but um, because of him I think that now I'm way more open to the idea of uh, abstract sound and uh, it was a really cool experience hearing it and uh, yeah, overall it was it was really cool. When you're not around, your people have their way with words, and you don't have to hear the sound to feel the We're like it up and down and very close to people's lives. Just what that's worth Most people know just
test is over. Yeah.
hard to pick just one memory of Andrew. I've known him since fifth grade, maybe sooner. And during that whole time, we've had a lot of laughs, a lot of gaffes, and just a lot of memories. And it's difficult to just pick one to share. During this time when I've been trying to remember Andrew and our time together, it's been a difficult thing to do, especially with a station that he's been so involved in. I struggle to come up with the words to say or to write on cards. and I notice a lot of similar choices. The word that comes to mind when I think of Andrew, undoubtedly, is presence. Andrew always took up every room he was in. He always made sure that people were aware of him, aware to be open, to have fun, to be accepted. He never missed Andrew, whether it was through his um, flashy ties, his bad jokes, his taste in music. He was always present, and that presence is going to be sincerely missed.
So Andrew was just one of the brightest people <clears throat> I've ever met. Um, he was always full of life, um, even when like he'd jokingly tell you like he was dead inside, like the rest of us millennials and Gen Zers would say. Like he was just always so energetic and bubbly. Um, the first memory I have of meeting him was when he brought his own little like collapsible shot glass uh, to a house show. Um, there was just, he was always in the station. You always knew when he was there. He was always just like this ball of energy. Like you knew just, he was so, so friendly and so welcoming. Um, and that is something like I'll always be thankful for. Um, it was my freshman year last year and he just, he just literally made me feel like so comfortable being in the radio station. Um, and really, I think he was one of the definitions that makes FRS, uh, Fredonia Radio Systems, um, a family. Um, after speaking with his family, though, um, they encouraged me that I should bring that fr friendliness forward with me um, every day to um, make other people feel just as welcome as he did for me. Um, so I feel I'm even more inclined to spread the message to be more like Andrew every single day of my life. Um, 
that everyone should, just to spread happiness and kindness and positivity like wherever you go. Um, I truly believe he's with us all every single day in everything I see. Like I, I believe he is there. Um, either whether he's sporting his best ties or dressed head to toe in drag, either way, you're killing it, sister. <laughs>
Andrew's mix might end here, but his legacy will never end. His character and his memories will stay in our minds and in our hearts until the end of time, and his name will always be remembered. Andrew will always be known as that lovable Thai boy, from now until forever. From all of us here at Fredoni Radio Systems, and from everyone in the world, we love you, Andrew.